All right, what is going on, collector family? I have been holding on to some mail for a little bit too long, I feel. It's been sitting here. It's been staring at me. It's telling me, Holtergeist, open me! And I'm going to, right now. So, it's actually a pretty big box, too. So, as you can see, it covers my face completely. It's a pretty nice box. I think so. Um, in here is something that I ordered actually a good while ago. Uh, and I was really excited to get this, too, because this is, um, this is more along the lines of what we do here, which is, like, gameplay and a little bit on the collecting side. So, like, the box that I got is actually, it's a mythical, I believe a Magurna box. So it comes with a bunch of different versions of Magurna. And I was super duper excited to get this because Magurna is like really, really super playable. Oh my gosh, and there's already some really crazy cards in here. Holy cow, oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta look at this. This is huge. Like I said, this box set is absolutely massive. As you can see there, Magurna Mythical Collection. Let's take a look. All right, so here you can see the Magurna, and it's actually, it's like a half art. Is that a full art? That's a full art. I, I would say that's a full art right there on the bottom there. And up top here, there is an Arceus, there's a Miloda, there is a Genesect over here. We have a Mew. And then we also have a Shaman, which actually all six of these are Black Star promos. Holy cow. Oh, wait, it includes seven foil promos? Holy cow, so there's even more in here. So there's one in here that I can't even see. Let's open this bad boy up a little bit. And we'll see what we get. Looks like we got XY Evolutions, two packs of XY Evolutions, two packs, or a pack of Steam Siege, a pack, and a, a mystery pack right in the middle there, which I'm really excited to see what that is. That'd be cool if it was like Furious Fists or like a base set, XY set. Like, that'd be really cool. All right, so I'm gonna immediately sleeve up these cards here, but I really, first off, I just wanna look at all right, so Genesect, this attack, uh, linear attack, this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, and Destructive Beam, uh, flip a coin, if heads, discard an energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Let's just throw a sleeve right on that. That's probably going to be used in a deck. Most of these cards, actually, are going to be put into decks, so that's a really nice... I love the artwork on that, too. That's so pretty. All right. So there's one. All right. Meloda is the big hit in here. Uh, it has Entertain. Heal 40 damage from each of your benched Pokemon. And then Prismatic Wave. This attack does 20 damage times the number of different Pokemon on your opponent's benched. Or bench. That is... That's pretty wicked. I love that. It's an XY promo too, which is really cool. And it's a beautiful card. That's really nice. That's really cool. It's, it does have a little bit of a bend to it, but it's probably been sitting in this box for years. Oh, and that was our mystery pack, a breakthrough. Nice. All right, and there is the Shaman, which, not bad. Aromatherapy, heal 30 damage from each of your Pokemon. And Magical Leaf, flip a coin, if heads, this attack does 20 more damage and heal 20 damage from this Pokemon. Wow, okay, not bad. Not really a playable, too playable of a card on the Shaman, but still a really cool promo to have as a collection. Here we got a Mew, which I'm definitely probably not gonna be playing with this card. Uh, it's, this is like merely a collecting purpose right here. That is a beautiful artwork, and it's a Black Star promo. Psychic. 
This attack does 10 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, and it already does 40 damage. That's a cool card. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna save Arceus for last. But Soprano Wave, flip three coins. This attack does 10 damage times the number of heads to each of your opponent's Pokemon? What? You can do up to 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon with this card. And Entrancing Melody, 30 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Wow, that is really playable. Especially in a vintage format like we play here on the channel all the time. That's really, really useful. Alright, and last, but certainly not least, I'm going to have to be very careful with getting this card out of here. So, ooh! Oh, oh my gosh, and there was a Manaphy behind the pack. Oh man, that's cool. That's cool. We got a Manaphy. Marine Guidance. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Marine Guidance. Search your deck for a water Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Aqua Ring. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Not bad. That's not bad, and it does 30 damage. That's pretty cool. We'll put that there. All right, let's get all these packs out of here. Gonna be very gentle with our Pokemon God. There we go. Okay, gentle, gentle. There we go. Okay. Arceus, beautiful artwork on that. That's like a, a snow type of hollow right there. I absolutely love it. Type switch. Choose one of each, choose one of the energies types until the end of turn. This Pokemon is that type. Wow, until the end of your next turn. Wow. Uh, discard an energy attached to this card. It does 120 damage. It's not really that crazy of a Pokemon card for playability wise, but I think this might be the first Arceus I actually have in my collection. So. Like I said, a lot of this box set was either collector purposes or playable purposes with the Meloda and the Genesect really coming in clutch for playability and a bunch of these other smaller cards, well, not too much smaller, but you know, a bunch of these other cards that would just find a nice little home in my binder. So that's cool. I'm excited about that. Uh, more, more, actually, I'm more excited about the Meloda and the Genesect, because I have a Steel-type deck that that Genesect would work really well in. And the Meloda, obviously, I'm going to be putting that into my Dragapult deck. So, yeah, that's I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm also excited to be opening up some XY era packs right here, guys. This is... These are some of the best packs to open up. This was my favorite generation of packs right here. Uh, XY era was just such a good era for Pokemon in general. So let's get right into it. Oh, wow. That was sealed up real nice. XY Steam Siege will go first because Steam Siege wasn't the greatest, but it was still a pretty good set to begin with. So let's see what we got here. We have Apom. Ooh, a Drifloon. Not a bad hit. I love Transfer Pain. Move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Great ability right there. Mareep the Sheep. Fletchling. Yanma. A Reverse Croagunk. And no way! We got a Magurna EX out of the Magurna Mythical Box. Yo! And that is a beautiful artwork on that, too. And a Gardevoir Spirit Link and a Clef Key. That's really freaking cool. No way. Look at that. Prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to each of your Pokemon that have any Steel Energy attached to them. Soul Blaster. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Soul Blaster attack space is 60. Oh. Okay, well, 
you get a really good ability with this which this is just a really nice supporter card I feel it's not a bad supporter card that's cool wow very first pack and we got something pretty decent out of that that's cool and this Crow Gunk reverse is really nice too look at that the the poison up attack if the defending pokemon is poisoned put three more damage counters on that pokemon between turns this effect can be applied more than once what oh i know where that's going that's going into a poison my poison deck because i do run crow -a gunk and being that he is a colorless energy for the attack, that's a really good, uh, that's a nice little switch up right there. I'll take out one of the dark type Croagunks and I'll put in a fighting type Croagunk. So that I'm, I'm pretty excited about that actually. That's a nice pull. So first pack was actually really good. Uh, who, who would have thought? Who would have thought Steam Siege coming in absolute clutch right there. All right. This is, I'm gonna have to save this. I'm gonna have to save that. Breakthroughs next. I'm gonna save the Fates Collide and the XY Evolutions for last. We'll do Breakthrough next because there are some Mewtwo EXs in here that you can pull that are really nice. Um, but more than that, the Fates Collide has the Lugia Break card in it and I would love to get my hands on another one of those. So let's go pack number two. We got a Spritzy. Ooh, a Cyndaquil. When's the last time you saw a Cyndaquil in any Pokemon set in Sword and Shield? This is a cool night. This is a nice pull right here. That's nice to see. A Hoot Hoot. Mistrevious. Ooh, Haunt. Put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. Not bad. I like that effect. Froakie. A Woobat. Oh, and a chestnut. Wow, I remember this card. Holy cow. Uh, I used to actually have a chestnut deck, and this was in it. Spike Lariat, if your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it, this attack does 60 more damage. At Adamantine Press, during your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. That is a wonderful pull right there. That's a nice card. That's a nice hit, actually. And Professor's Letter, which is just a really nice staple card. Search your deck for two basic energy cards. Reveal them, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. This is just a really nice upgrade to the uh, energy search card that came out a long time ago. So that's cool. Definitely a nice chestnut there. We'll take that. And the Woobat, Woobat Woo. All right. Next up, we're getting slowly, we're getting better on the packs in my opinion. Uh, Fates Collide, probably the second best pack or second best set out of the XY era. Obviously Evolutions is gonna be the best for collector purposes, uh, but this set, right here this has the oh this has alakazam ex mega alakazam like i said you also get lugia break in this set so there was a lot of really really nice cards all right here we go first up we got a whismer a gothita not bad riolu nice a cottony this is also back when uh, fairy type was actually a thing and it didn't really take off until the Sun and Moon era but still they they tried really hard to get fairy type to be a thing back then we got a Burmy next oh a Braxton that's cool and a non hollow Zygarde but we did get a Shauna which shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw five cards so that's another good staple card right there and an energy reset put as many energies attached to your pokemon as you like into your hand not a bad it, not a bad 
uh, card. It does have its usefulness, especially with things like speed energy. When you play speed energy onto an electric type Pokemon, you get to draw two cards. With this card, you can put that speed energy back into your hand and do the whole thing all over again. So that's not a bad hit either. And yeah, not bad, not bad. We're gonna take it. And of course I got a Pupitar, so I'm happy with the Pupitar. Always happy to see my Larvitars, Pupitars, and Tyranitars. All right, here we go guys, last two packs. XY Evolutions, here we go. Let's see what we can pull. Ooh. I think actually on this one, we are going to do the card trick. So, cause it's XY Evolutions. These are, these are some pretty big packs. These can give some pretty big hits in it. So let's do it guys. First up, we got Metapod. Ooh, we got an Amunaki's Doduo. Nice. Nice little secret rare there. Haunter, followed by a Ghastly, Diglett, Rattata, Charmander, an Energy, oh, a Maintenance Reverse, and a Doug Trio. Not, not the greatest, but I will take that Energy because I am a sucker for those old school Energies and I like to put them all into my deck, so. As many of them as I can. All right, and last but not least, the Blastoise pack. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, so crisp, so fresh, so very fresh. All right, three to the front. Here we go. Ooh, nice hit, we got Brock's Grit. This is actually a really good hit, shuffle six in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Just a good way to put cards back into your deck, especially if you're drawing a lot and you're losing a lot of Pokemon during the match, this will be a, good, a big help for you. Ooh, a Professor Oak's Hint, not bad. Metapod, Diglett, we got a Caterpie. A Poliwag, a Pikachu, a Ponyta, oh, a Reverse Poliwrath, yes, I love Poliwrath, and oh, we got a double pack, yes, we'll take it, that's awesome, we got the Poliwrath Reverse and the Poliwrath Hollow in the same pack, that is a grade A pack to me. That's a beautiful pull right there. You cannot go wrong with that whatsoever. Oh man, I'm happy about that. That I would consider to be last pack magic to the fullest extent. Uh, I, I'm as happy about that if I pulled a Charizard and a Reverse Charizard in the same pack. That's like the equivalent to me. This is, that's awesome. And I love this, uh, I love this card too. Uh, Whirlpool, discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, and Dashing Punch, if this Pokemon was on the bench and became active, po your active Pokemon this turn, this attack does 50 more damage uh, for one energy. That's a really good effect right there. Not to mention, he does have 140 HP, and you really can't go wrong with that either. So, that's a good hit, and we got two of them. So. That's an even better hit to me. I'm happy with that. So, good pulls on all of this. Uh, guys, I want to say thank you so much for joining me on another mail day. A very successful mail day at that. All the Black Star promos, the Magurna EX, and the two Polyraths. You can't go wrong with that. So, yeah, I would say this was a win on the mail day, guys. Thank you, everybody. As always, keep on collecting.